Morning mates, welcome back. It's a beautiful day here in Whitby. <coughs> what time is it, Simon? It's 4th of July, Independence Day. And I can't see my watch. <laughs> it's about half past nine. Look at this, I've got a t-shirt on. 4th of July, first time I've had a t-shirt. I've been out in a t-shirt in Whitby this year. <laughs> and it's still not right warm. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter, I've got a full day ahead, got loads of videos to do. Mrs M's not here, so, you know, toddle on and do what I do. I'm off out on my bike this afternoon, I'm not sure where I'm going. Uh, but I'll have a jolly time, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, thanks for all your likes and subscribes, uh, channel's growing lovely. Uh, I'm getting a lot more views than subscribes, but uh, hey ho, that's how things work. But if you have got a chance to give us a, a subscribe, a like, a share, that will be absolutely Brillsville, as we say in Whitby. Right, I'm outside the co-op uh, on Langbourne Road. <coughs> can you see the co-op behind me? I think you can. The sun's in my eyes, I can't see right well. And uh, it's a good little shop, and I did a video on it a while ago and said, look, if you're self-catering in Whitby, why don't you, you know, pop along to the co-op? They've got everything you need. Get a go. Uh, it's in walking distance. It's the nearest. It's the it's the nearest supermarket, or it was, I guess. Uh, you know, there is a little. There is a Sainsbury's. There is an Aldi, but they're all a little bit outside uh, town. But the trouble with the co-op is it's expensive. You know, and a few people that pointed that out, and they're right. It's expensive. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an alternative today right in the centre of town, it's been recently refurbished, it's packed full of goodies, it's dirt cheap and I'm going to do a little comparison uh, and I'm going to nip into the cop, probably going to pick four essentials, something like that, then I'm going to compare them to the place across and uh, to put you out of your misery, the place I'm talking about is Heron Foods, they're owned by B&M. Um, it's recently been refurbished, it's all been smartened up, uh, it looks uh, proper decent and uh, it's proper cheap. So without further ado, I'm going into the co-op, I'll get some price comparisons, then I'll set the camera running again. We'll have a walk over to Aaron Foods, we'll have a look around and we'll do that price comparison. I'll show you a bit of the store, I'll show you what I think, I'll tell you what I think and uh, yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm on about, don't you? Right, if you're coming over to it, don't forget, if you see me about, say hello. I always like to uh, see me subscribers and my viewers. And, uh, yeah, that's it, really. Let's crack on. I'll see you in a minute or two. There's a, uh, there's a world famous grape. And um, yeah, so Heron Foods, it's on, you'll see it in a second. It's on Baxter Gate. Uh, it, that's where, uh, yeah, end of Baxter Gate, almost opposite uh, Botham's Bakery. It's open uh, seven days a week. Through the week, it's open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on a Sunday, it's 10 till 5. As I say, it's recently refurbished, it's got disabled access. And it's got lots of choice, meat, fruit, veg, newspapers, all of that type of stuff. And the prices might just surprise you. 
So let's have a look, see, and let's get inside. <laughs> See, it actually looks like a modern supermarket, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really spruced it up. It looks pretty good, to be honest with you. Let's have a look at the lure pack. Lure pack uh, for a 250 gram uh, uh, um, bar of <laughs> 250 gram of butter. Lure pack in the cup is three pounds. In here is one pounds ninety nine. That's what it is. A slab of butter. I don't know what you call it. It's not a tub. You know what I mean. Three pound in the cup. One pound ninety nine. In uh, yeah. In uh, yeah. Yeah. Heron Foods. Honestly, my, my short term memory is atrocious. Let's have a look down this aisle. This old fella's. I don't know what he's doing. He's just looking for a bit of shopping, isn't he? That's all he's looking for. Can't see what I'm filming here. Um, so, what else have we got? Um, yeah, we. Yeah, I, I looked at the Warburton's toasty loaf, white loaf, in the co op. It was one. Pound twenty-five in the co-op, and uh, it's a pound in Heron Foods, so that's not bad, is it? A pound. Don't know why I'm showing you the toilet roll. Oh, here we go. Kellogg's cornflakes. Uh, in um, yeah, they are. Hang on a minute. How much are they? Yeah, for Kellogg's Corn Flakes, uh, 500 gram is £3.90 in the court, £2.25 here in Erin Foods. And the eggs, how much are the eggs, Simon? They are for the medium eggs in the court, the £1.76, and I think the £1.49 are they? For half a dozen free range eggs in BM. So the savings to be made, they've got plenty of choice, they've got all the brands, so, you know, what's not to like? Can I shop here a bit? Save a bob or two. Maybe not just as much variety as the cup, but uh, yeah, there's the toasty love. Don't mind a bit of wow buttons. So uh, yeah, that's it. So let's finish up in outside and we'll wrap matters up. Right, that's it mate, hope you enjoyed that. I know it's not a food review, but I can't do, I'll run out of them very quickly if I keep doing fish and chips, but I've got some coming up. Yeah, some of the cafes and uh, other bits and pieces, so we'll get those done soon. Thanks very much for watching. I've just bumped into two subscribers this morning already. They came over and said hello. One couple came all the way from Suffolk and uh, they had fish and chips in the Magpie last night, seemed to enjoy them. Couldn't take the doggies in, um, but maybe I was mentioning the Abbey Wharf to them. They can take the doggies in there, they can go inside and go on the balcony and they can have some food perfect over there if you've got your dogs with you thanks for watching everybody thanks for your likes
please subscribe if you <laughs> if you feel the need <laughs> thanks again i'll see you soon keep well chin chin